Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We're doing a basketball break. We got two different products here. We have 2019-20 uh, Absolute Memorabilia by Panini. This is a hobby box. We bought this off of the Panini website. It took forever, it seemed like, for them to ship it. it. Took a week before it got shipped and then another three, four days before it got to our house. Uh, so we just got it today. Uh, and then uh, we have these two Prism uh, hanger boxes. So we just found these today, the first time we found them, and it is uh, December 9. So uh, it took a while for us to find these hanger boxes. We opened up three off camera. Yeah, we opened up three off camera. They're definitely interesting. So yeah. they are um, a little bit more money. I didn't actually know how much they're. I want to say but... they were $18 a box. Yeah, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, ooh, there's a good start right there. Whoa. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and there's some Whoa. chunky thing. I don't know what that Weird. is. Weird. Is that a variation? I don't know if they're thick. I don't know if they're thick either. I don't know what what could that be. Let's take a look. Yeah. We have uh, uh, five penmanship. Creations could be a penmanship. Penmanship prism orange ice. It is an orange ice, so it could be an auto. But there's a Zion on the back, so I mean that's a big card just to start off. So it's gonna be a pretty good pack here. We'll take a peek at what is inside. Like this, like this. All right. Careful. It's got a Patrick Ewing, Matthew Delvadova, Alonzo Mourning, Cyrus Smith. So you get 20 cards in these. Um, some base, usually four orange ice cards, and a silver Quinn Cook. Josh Akogi. That's going to be that thing. There's going to be those things. So I'll put those things right there. We got some inserts here. Nasir Little. Instant Impact. That's a different one. A Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. I think we pulled a few of those. What are the backwards There's a cards? Tyler Ooh, Hero variation. Sweet. sweet. So that is definitely a variation. Yep. A rookie variation of Tyler Hero. Yep. So He's throwing the ball behind Had his a big back. game the other night. So that's a sweet card to get. This could be a really stinking good hanger. Yeah. Gasol, Thibel, and a Zion. So. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. See what the rest of the stuff is in here. So, um, we got a Terrence Ferguson orange. As you can see, these orange cards are really, really nice looking. They look just like the pink ice out of the Walmart mega boxes, except orange. Um, Terrence Mann rookie. Not bad to get a rookie. Yeah, the orange. rookies are kind of tricky to pull. And a Quinn Cook. We have a green, Josh Akogi. A silver, Chris Dunn. And this thick card is going to be... It's orange, so I wonder if it's an autograph. Or a relic. This is a relic. Lucas yeah. and I didn't huh. know you could get relics out of here, so that's yeah, pretty Yeah, I think I saw... Now that now I remember, I think I did see somebody Not numbered. get it, get one. But they're know. pretty cool looking. I mean, yeah. For a relic, just to get the orange ice. But I was I didn't think it was going to be an auto, because that'd be kind of weird. But right, right. That was a pretty solid little uh, that hanger was a, box that there. That was sweet, yeah. With that hero rookie and everything. It's good. I think that's the uh, chase with this is the variations. The Yeah, for sure, because those could carry some value. So yep. Next, I'll go ahead and open up my uh, Absolute mini box here. So two mini boxes, two packs per box, five cards per pack. Um, you usually get one rookie auto, sometimes two. But it's, in two, the it's box. two autographs in the box and two memorabilia cards, right? Yeah, two autos, two mem, uh, so one in each. Which, which one are you going to choose? Gonna the take stuff. stuff. All right. The person who's out all year. Now, they got rid of the oh, these things. So we got one right here from last year. Cut this one for you, too. They were the encased cards that would come in the in the boxes. They got rid of those. Um, and now they just have, what, a couple extra base cards? Is that right? Yeah, they have base cards this year, and they are... Uh, very thick, like not very thick, but pretty thick base cards. So, Let's see as we get in here, there's a Hunter parallel on the back, so that's not too shabby. Yeah, the the price on this was 130 on the website. I think you get DA blowout have them at 150 for a box of these. So, so here's the first card, really clean looking design. They look nice, foil on the foil kind of finish on them. So I'll show a KD here. There's the back, and you can see they're pretty thick. Yeah, they're pretty about thick. Hundred point. Yeah, probably about 100 point, yep. Um, we got a Seku Doimboya, something like that. Dimboye, I think it is. That Hunter out of 199, 77 out of 199. 
And next we'll show this back card, because I think that's usually the relic. Dennis Smith Jr. established threads for it's the a, Knicks. It's a nice looking card. A little yeah, stitching cool. a little right little there. Stitching. Yeah. Um, not going to be numbered. Pretty cool looking. And we'll see what our autograph is going to be. 88 out of 175. Looks like a Carson, Carson Edwards. Edwards. That's not, nice. That's not terrible. Yeah. Uh, out of 175. I'm always a fan tools of, of the trade. Absolute memorabilia. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. These these things are sweet. Little is this because it brings and... me back to 2012, 2013 football uh, yep. when we collected a lot of that. They had absolute was a big big. Well, product. that was one that we always wanted to get to. We never yeah. could, we never bought it. Yeah. All right, so back to Prism now. We'll try out this one. I don't see a thick card in here, but who knows who could be in here. Yeah, that, a lot, that hanger box is Carson Edwards. Loaded. Yeah, the last one you opened was loaded. That was awesome. Um, I, mean, I don't know how much that hero variation is selling for. but Yeah, I don't know either. Time. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the Zion. I, I mean, the Zion's like 30, I think, now. Pro, yeah, probably, yeah. So that, you know, is the hanger box itself. We'll see what we get out of this one. All right, so here's, let's see if you get a better grip on here. Jamal Murray, Jalen Brunson. Bruce Brown, Miles Bridges, Nurkic, Knox, Stein, Beal, and Ingram. Silver. Silver. And then a Jalen Brunson. Where is your silver stack? Right, right here. No, 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 no. Jalen Brunson, and then let's go back here. Here we have the dominance insert of Russell Westbrook, Baisley, Kyle Kuzma, and a Gafford rookie, and then a Culver rookie. Bad. Those are kind of tricky. Yeah, back to back rookies. That's not bad. And then, a, wow, a lot of rookies there on the back of the pack. All right, let's see if we can get any good rookies out of these orange um, ice here. So, Bazemore, Akogi. Ooh, nice. that's not bad. He's been playing yeah. pretty well. Uh, Jackson Hayes for the Pelicans. And then uh, Jalen Brunson. So, not, not too bad. bad. Not not as good as uh, the first one that Luke opened. No, but, but that was not too shabby. Those things are pretty solid. Yes, yeah, so let's go to our absolute... We got a Hachimura on the back. That's cool, because that'll be a Hachimura. Um, should be a numbered card. So well, This pack just kind of shredded. Like butter. Like butter. Shred like butter, everybody. This if you don't sad. know, that's a very... You don't even need the knife. That's a very... Uh, no, I don't need the knife. Luke is just ripping it open for me. Yep. Yeah, shred like butter. That's one of my more favorite uh, and dumb sayings that I've ever said. All right, so uh, Romeo Langford, rookie card. This is the base um, version, the thick ones. And then the Darius Baisley. Now go for the back. Yep. It'll be a parallel. All right. That's a cool card. That's a cool card. Yeah. That's, nice. That's a nice card. Number to 199. Arui. You know, put that one back there and then flip it over. And, the, and this is your relic back here? Um, no. The, take the one from the back. Very, take that card out. And then the next one from the back, too. Because that next one from the back will be the relic as well. All right. So. Kobe. Kobe. Nice. Solid. Kobe. Established threads. Not numbered. This is game worn. Game worn. Pretty cool. And it's going to be our autograph. Oh, that's cool. We got one of the yeah, ones. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, not a great one, but yeah, uh, yeah, but still, I don't know how hard those are to pull out here. But super, they're like one every two, three boxes. Okay, that's a they're, that's they're a like really kind of nice chase. looking card. Yeah, I mean the the way they did that silver and then the auto on there. Are they numbered? I don't think that one is, but I don't no. think so. I don't see any numbering on it. Anyway, so that was a pretty solid little break there. Yeah, you? that was pretty good. I'd say that so, prism hanger, that first. Yeah, your first, the first kinda... one you opened with that was uh, that was killer. That absolute box wasn't bad either. Yeah, wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't crazy good. No, but it was 
It was average, bad. I think. A little above, maybe. Not too bad. I mean... We did I, get the two rookie parallels. Yeah, the two cool. rookie parallels are cool. I mean, obviously, on this, you're chasing those rare tools of the trade and the and the glass cards. Those yeah. are big. Those are like one a case, though, I yeah. believe. And the tools of the trade aren't really that difficult to pull. I think yeah, it's so, in box. So. Tools of the trade... Um, and I don't know glass what it says. Yeah, yeah, the glass insert. That's you can a, that's see like it there. That's what you're looking for in here. The ultra so. rare. Yeah, those are cool. The glass insert. But yeah, those are all redemptions. You don't yeah. get the cards. You don't right get away. them. Uh, you get them in the mail later. And uh, but they're sweet. All right. So let us know what you guys think of the absolute memorabilia and the prism hanger boxes. Have you found uh, the prism hanger boxes at your local Walmart or Target or Meyer wherever you shop for? retail have you found them let us know uh, and uh, let's know what you think about the hanger boxes as well as absolute memorabilia thanks for watching guys please like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next break thanks for watching take care and have fun collecting